Hello, this is Nikki in Niagara coming to you from Niagara Falls, Canada. And today is the day that all of us wait for all month, and that is the end of the month finished pages. <laughs> I have been having so much fun watching all the finished pages as they come up in my feed, and yeah, it's been keeping me busy watching those videos. So, sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab your drink of choice, and let's go forward. So today I'm going to start with my empties, otherwise I forget them. So first of all, we are quickly going to get rid of all the shuttle arts, because folks, I used them all up. There are no shuttle arts, and they're going straight in the garbage. Okay, just the shuttle arts. I wanted to show you guys that I used them. There's not a single solitary shuttle art left in my stash, and I will be showing you today what I used them up on. Okay, is that the mold? There weren't that many, to tell the truth. Like, I mean, uh, you know. <laughs> I had like about 30. I showed you at the beginning of the month how many I had. So, this, every time I look, I see one more. There's one there. Alright, so if there's any more, I'll just pull them out. So the next thing is, is that I had some touch news in there that I was using up from the set before the, before the shuttle arts and before a set of all hoo-hoos were the touch news. And I had a few of those left and I used them up too. Looks like they're mostly grays. alert. <laughs> so these are the touch news that I used up finally. And then I am currently using the Ohuhus. And we have been using these up too because I have I've got two sets. Oh there's one more touch new. I have and another one. <laughs> I have uh, two sets of Ohuhus. One I bought before the shuttle arts and one I bought after. So these are obviously the befores. Uh, another one. And so I've been using the second set as backups. So that is how many touch news I've used up. And as I said in a previous video, I'm not feeling refreshing them. I'm just too lazy to tell you the truth. Okay, so now we're down to a reasonable amount here. So there's one touch marker, which I've had all by itself. Got it in a subscription box a long time ago. It's finally done. Got one smart art marker that's finished. These are the ones that turn your pages yellow, and I'm only using them for certain things. Then I've got one big Crayola in black. I've got one color pep in green. I've used up my very first Decorez pen, and I thought it was going to be the white one, but it's not. It's the light blue. I have a Crayola black one in tan. I have two of the Artist Loft markers. Won't be buying those again. I've used up, well, I used up one green gel pen and then this one just stopped working on me. I've noticed that it's got air bubbles in it and I did every single thing I could to it to get it to work, but it just won't. And surprisingly, it's a tan mint. That's the first time that's ever happened to me with my, I have a couple of big sets of tan mints and that's the first one that did that. Now this is from 
a long time ago. It's a Sketchbox fine liner, and I used that up. I have a Stabilo. Yep, a Stabilo fine liner. You used that up. And uh, a Sharpie fine point black that I used up. And finally, I have an eraser that is going to go in the garbage now. Yeah, there's a bit left there, but it's getting difficult to hold on to, and it's also getting pretty filthy. So, well, that guy's going. So those were my empties. Now let's just put that out of the way. So let's go. Oh, first of all, I have to show you the progress on the post Pinocchio poster. Somebody was asking if I was still working on it, and yes, I am. I took a break in October, but I'm back working on it. So I didn't know how much time I would have, so I only gave myself a small assignment, and that was to do this building here, and the sign, and the stars. So I did, I did all that. So next month is December, and my assignment I'm giving myself is to do the princess. So, that's where we go on that. Okay, so this was a spin the wheel book. And I chose to do this page. And I, I have to say I'm really pleased with how this turned out. Oops, it's straight. Really pleased with the, how this turned out. I used... Um, blue metallic paint pen marker for the background. All I did for the trees was go over the lines and alcohol marker background, like the simplest thing in the world, but I really like it. Okay, now a book that I fell in love with was It's Fall Y'all by Tabitha Barnett. It looks like the camera is going wonky on me. Okay. I'm going to cut this out if I don't if it doesn't go straight right away. Okay, there it did. Okay. So, how far do I have to go before you can see my cardigan? Oops. Yeah, really far. Okay, so I fell in love with uh, this one and I did all the fall pages because I wasn't coloring in this for Halloween or Thanksgiving. So I, what I did is, is I completed the white section. There is a black section at the back, and the first half is the white section. I completed all the autumn pages in the first section. So I did this. this. Can I keep the book straight? For the life of me, I can't. Well, this comes first. Did this. I love this one. This one turned out really nice. This one. Not too bad. My mark kind of bled out a a bit around the ed edges there. I love doing the broken circles. Then I did this one. And Tabitha doesn't put frames around her pictures, so I made my own frames. I didn't bother with it, any embellishments in this book at all, I don't think. So I did this one. This one. Goodbye, Autumn. <laughs> and this one. Now this one was my very first ever attempt at using gouache. And uh, yeah, it definitely is different than watercolors. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Uh, gonna need some more practice with it. I heard somebody say, I heard an artist who likes watercolor but doesn't like gouache, say that you had to use gouache straight from the bottle. Is that true? Or do you mix it with water like you do a watercolors? If anybody knows, please let me know. I did watch a video, but they, 
they kept their their gouache over to the side so they just kept going like this <laughs> I didn't know what was going on over there all right so that's all the fall pages in December I am going to start here and try to do all the fall pages in black this should prove interesting and I forgot blank I've got a lot of cardstock in these pages because I was testing out some markers to see if they did the yellowing and they did and now what I want to see is is if after they've started yellowing if you take that page out will it yellow this again or is it done its process that's another thing that I'm checking out so this is the one I did. Did a little bit of stickles on that one for some accenting and he used to blacked out the lines in there to make it look more like a, a gem. Yeah, like how that one turned out. Hey, this was um, a freebie P PDF from Angela Porter's group and this is what I did. Used fine liners for that one. Okay, I bought the PDF for this book, and I colored one of them, so we'll see if we can take this off, and that's the one I did. I used, used glitter for her necklace and uh, stickles. A couple of different types of stickles for the let's put my lamp back where I used to have it so it made things sparkle yeah you should be able to see that okay <laughs> sparkle <laughs> And then I did one out of Fanciful Fantasy by Sassy Coloring. And my sister and I did this as a buddy color. I'm not going to take it out because it just makes things last longer. But there is some sparkle on it. I used a color palette for that one. Uh, it's okay. It's not my favorite thing. I think I could have done better. did a color by number from the pattern Jane Jade Summers pattern book and I really don't like the color combinations in this book but I'm just doing it for to get out my stress and stuff it was really pretty until I got to brown and then brown that was the last color I had and it was looking good and then brown just kind of wrecked it but I don't know who came up with those color color palettes for that book. I hope they're not the same person. They had a different person doing it for this new flower one, which I haven't got yet. So this is Grayscale Tattoos. This one came up for one of my Spin the Wheel books. And I did the dragon. I had a ton of fun doing him as well. I, uh, I did him two colors. And he's all um, he's all done in alcohol marker, except I used the um, the silver sparkle pop up here on his horns and and his whiskers and a little bit in his beard. I really like how I did the beard and the uh, uh, the mustache and the beard type and his big eyebrows. <laughs> kind of made them look hairy. And then, where's the one I did? Okay, here we go. Okay, so I did this as a uh, buddy color with my good friend known as Tracy Colors. And I went to town on this guy for um, 
is definitely a mixed media piece. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is that my wings are, I wish they had been a little bit darker. I used um, a cheap set of uh, sparkle, I mean a cheap set of pearlized paints and I really should have given it a second coat. I, I pr prepped this page with the um, liquid satin glazing and I even made I even made a list of what I used on this page which I don't normally do but I used a lot so I used Ohuhu alcohol marker on her skin um, because I prepped the page you can use alcohol markers on it and it won't go through. The only thing is, is that the alcohol markers on the liquid glazing behave like water-based pens, and it was a real mess working with them, so I would never use those two in combination again. Then I used fine liners, some Prismacolors, um, the Sakura Microperm pen, um, some Tombows as watercolors, I told you about the pearlized watercolor paints. And then for the background, I used Art Alchemy uh, metallic paints. Well, actually, this is an iridescent paint that I used in the background. It uh, is metallic with glitter in it. And when I was finished, it was pretty streaky. So I got a... I got a... Um, stencil out and I stamped with ivory paint all over it and yeah I gotta say this is one of my favorite things I've ever done if I could do a lot more pages like that I would be I would be happy <laughs> and then I had another buddy color with the lovely Rita over at RB Dreams 1963, I think, maybe, something like that. So I did this one all with um, watercolor pencils. I used my um, Albrecht Durer and Prismacolor watercolor pencils. And this is Deborah Muller's book called Angels. It is uh, a Christian book. She doesn't have very many of those that are two that she independently publishes. Another Deborah Muller as Fall Friends. And I did this one. It just reminds Uh oh, what's going on here? That's weird. Why did the paper stick to that? Okay. That goes out of here. So this is from Fall Friends by Deborah Muller, and I absolutely adore this picture. Um, she looked, this girl, just looked like she was in an Anne of Green Gables setting. So I colored her like Anne of Green Gables. So she's all done in, in uh, alcohol marker, except for her hair is done with probably Prismacolors. Pencil anyways. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's Prismacolors. That's another one of my favorite pages from this month. You can see I did a lot of seasonal coloring for fall. Okay, got another more blotter sheets. I did this for a whole bunch of them. Okay. Alright, so I only did one in this one. I can't tell you how much I am enjoying the uh, Coloring Book Cafe books. I did this one for my last one for the season in this book. Cute kitty. Then I also have Autumn Life. She didn't know that. Santa ain't seeing no penguins, and if he does, we're in trouble. And this one was an elf. And 
This was A Color Your Hoard, and this is a Dover Spark book called Playful Animals by, it's on the title page, by Victoria Moderna. This was a, a lot of fun. I enjoyed doing this. This one right here. And I used a peach paint pen for the background on this one. I'm enjoying using those paint pens, the um, Chocola paint pens that I showed you in my haul. I'm enjoying using them for backgrounds. So this is fun. This book is, just has a whole bunch of animals uh, and, and they're in a pattern on the page. So there's a repetition somewhere, but it's in each little scene. So yeah, I really like that. That's the first one I've done in it. And then I did a few <laughs> out of Stone Mosaic Book One by Bell the Family. So I believe I did a couple of random ones and then I started working from the back. So there's that one. There's that one. that one this one took me forever to know what it was if you looking at it direct on it looks like nothing you, I'm just trying to figure out if it's a mushroom or some kind of animal <laughs> or what but then I came and put it underneath of the camera to have a look at it and there I see it plain as day that it's a couple but you can't see it looking at it some of these you can tell what it is before you even start and then others like that one are complete mystery even when they're finished <laughs> and that one so yeah, I really like this book. It's fun. It's one of my favorites by Belba. And now I fell in love with this book. So did a few out of here. I'm starting from the beginning. So this was a Color Your Horde picture. And I just love this. This is probably the most popular picture in this book. People sometimes, um, Jen Racine, she, she sells individual pictures from her books for, I don't know, a buck or, or so on Etsy. And this, I've seen this picture done. Sorry, having a sip of my tea. And then I did this one. And I did the bunnies. This one turned out nice too. I managed to do the two bunnies and the rat all in different shades of gray. And finally this one I did. I really like coloring birch trees. I love the way they look. Um, this one I did the background in paint pen as well. So yeah, I'll be getting some new side of that. And this one, I didn't put a blotter sheet down. Oh, it was terrible. But it's not that bad. I'm going to color this. It'll be no big deal. Then, of course, this feels like it was months ago, but at the beginning, very beginning of this month, I uh, did a, a um, book launch for this book for Coloria. So I did this one. Oh, this one, and this one's got some, yeah, I know you saw it there, some sparkle to it. I used a, used a glitter pen for the green. 
And finally, this one, which um, got a lot of love. Oh, it's heavy to hold this up. Yeah, so this one got a lot of love on um, Instagram. So this is a nice book. It's, it's, I like this one better than the first one. But I like both of the Colo, Colo Ria books that I have. It's funny, so many people say color ya. <laughs> okay, so I worked in 50 dream catchers to color and I did two. So I always do two in her books. Never one, but two. So I did random colorings like I do with mandalas in this one. So these are random colors. I did that one and this one. For this one I picked three three alcohol markers and two two gel pens. Yeah, that's what I did. The other one was just five. No, oh, it was four markers and oh no, it's the same. Three markers and two gel pens. Huh. Just doesn't look so much. So this one I actually completed on October 31st, but didn't didn't get around to showing it last time. So yeah, that was way back at the beginning of the month. And the next one, next one is Folk Art by Lisa Congbin, and this was a, uh, a Color Your Hoard. Right there, I did a pattern. I'm a repeating pattern, and this one has a bit of. Let me see the. Yeah, I don't know. There's there's glitter in there. The gold and the there's a gold and a purple glitter pen in there, but then they don't seem to be catching the light. So that was fun. I really like these Lisa Congdon books. Then I worked in, oh, you know what? Oh, I didn't, I've got, I've, oh no. Just a minute. There it is. Okay. There's a book that I forgot to put in here. I was wondering where it was. Okay, so um, at way back at the beginning of the month, I worked in Secret Patterns. Now this... Oh, was it this one or the other one? Yes, it was this one. Oh, man. I, I, oh. This one gave me fits. It was so hard, and I made so many mistakes. I was, some squares got colored three colors. <laughs> Because I made two mistakes on them, but it looks nice in the it looks nice in the camera, huh? And then the other one was like this was a repeating pattern, and yet it was so hard. This one was not a repeating pattern. Well, it was half and half, so the second half was actually very easy to do because I just went backwards on here. So this one was a lot easier to do. And they, look, they look really nice on the camera. So you can see here with the dark blue, I didn't even have to, I didn't even have to um, mark out any spaces because I was just filling in what was left. So yeah, so that's Belba Family's Puzzle Series. Secret Patterns. Advanced. That one's quite difficult to do. Then this is their um, Christmas all about Christmas book and I did this one out of the three by three grids um, this turned out really nice I made a I made a bit of mistakes on him but I don't think it's um, noticeable and I've lost my sticky for the one up here yeah so I did this one from the uh, five by fives It's a bit messy because I was doing some sleep coloring on that one, and then I did this one for the uh, 
color by number section. So yeah, this is fun. I like this book. I'm going to work out of it some more. Then I did one out of Autumn Inspirations. And then I, I will be getting out the Christmas book soon. So I did this one on camera. And we can see I got a bit of a bit of uh, yellowing on that page. It didn't go through. It didn't go through here though, so that's good to know. It did go onto this page. Ah, it'll be covered up. It doesn't bother me that much. So yeah, this was all done in obviously alcohol marker. <laughs> This was a Color Your Hoard, Coloring Heaven World of Princesses Special by Fabiana Trer. And I did this lovely lady right here. She is 17th century princess. So she was done with uh, alcohol markers, but except for her hair, which it looks like I used. I might have even used the polychromos for that. I think I did. Yes. Definitely did. So that would have been just after I got my polychromos. Well, when I was when I was playing with them. So I did a couple of chibis and then it will be time for me to um, settle down with this book and count out how many pages I have to do in it and um, hopefully this will be my first finished book next year. So I did three in here. This was a buddy color with Crafting Quinn. I believe is Nick Johnson on my in my group. In my Facebook group. So I really like how this one turned out. And it was funny. Um, we both kind of had the same kind of uh, color palette going on. Not exactly the same. I don't think you're seeing the stickles glitter. They're too tiny. And then I did this one for my Facebook group's um, November palette. November palette. <laughs> for the November challenge, we were given a palette to work with. And this is what I came up with. And then this one was a buddy color with Stephanie Armstrong. And for this one, I put stickles all over the background. I did um, glossy accents for her, for her glasses. And for some reason, that this one turned out a bit milky. I don't know why. But yeah, so maybe it's just like the way I'm looking at it. Yeah, because it, yeah, it doesn't looking at it straight on. So yeah, here's here's my fish, and it I didn't put the blue in it because I just kept it, I just kept it orange this time. So yeah, did those ones. They don't make this book anymore, so it will be a treasure <laughs> when it's finished. And we're down to the last two. So, oh, let's do it the other way around. Oh, so this, come here. This is the book that I started off trying to use up my shuttle arts with. So there's quite a few done in here. But I was, um, yeah, and I was going in order too. So I've done really well in this book. I might keep this one out. So you see, I was only using such small spaces that it, wasn't using up my markers and I was getting discouraged. I wrote down my color palettes on most pages. Sometimes I forgot to. So these were all random colors from my, I like this one, from my leftover shuttle arts when I was trying to use them up. And I just went in order. Yeah, they definitely looked better, looks better putting the random colors into the um, mandalas than it did to those big patterns, but I used them up. Oops.
Oh yeah, that one turned out nice. And finally, this one. I like that too. So yeah, we'll keep that one out. And then this book right here, I am doing as a buddy color with my good friend Lisa. Uh, she's known as uh, Color My Way on YouTube. You can go over and check her, check her channel out. So yeah, we're doing two patterns a month and we're picking our colors randomly. So I did not get a winner with the first one and oh my goodness, what is this ever an effort? So I couldn't get into those spaces with anything except for my um, fine liners. I have the ink onyx and I randomly chose my colors. I'm going to try and make a palette on these. I didn't for these two, but I'm going to do it going forwards, if I can remember. Uh, and this is uh, Flying Colors Volume 21. It was um, the current issue a couple back, probably by now. And then the second one, oh, I did. I made my color palette. This one was much easier to do, very simple to do and quick. I don't really like the colors I got on this one either. They're very dark. The yellow brightens it up a bit, but actually it's the orange that brightens it up a bit. It was <laughs> Excuse me. I'm just saying bit, and I don't know why my mouth made the chest sound. Oh dear, I'm like a little girl giggling because somebody said a bad word. Uh, well, that's a good note to end this on, guys. So, uh, yeah, if I if you have a finished pages uh, page uh, video, I'll be watching it and liking it. Uh, I've I am so, I am so behind. I didn't go on the internet for three whole days this week. And it has put me behind. So I'm constantly, like I got caught up to a certain point, but I'm constantly on yesterday's, yesterday's uh, videos on YouTube. I can't get into today. So hopefully <laughs> today I can. And so, yeah, this has been long enough. So I will end it now. And uh, thank you so much for visiting with me. Take care, stay safe, and keep on coloring. Bye-bye!